Hi friends, uh, this is Sri. Uh, so today I am going to explain about the MySQL upgrade, how to do the MySQL upgrade from MySQL 5.7 to MySQL 8. Okay, so as you know that MySQL 8 have a lot of, lot of features. Uh, okay, so people are currently migrating from the uh, MySQL 5.7 to uh, 8. They are, they are upgrading their environment. Okay, so I hopefully, uh, so this video, who will be helpful uh, so to someone who are planning for the upgrade their server okay uh, so in this video i'm just going to explain a single server how to do the upgrade so going forward uh, so for in this video for doing the upgrade you need the downtime uh, so going forward i will explain the uh, scenarios like uh, how to do the mysql upgrade without uh, downtime uh, so later uh, in the future, I will make some videos based on that. Okay. Uh, so for this video, only uh, uh, explain how to do the MySQL upgrade uh, using the M repository. Okay. Uh, so I already have one server. Yeah. Uh, let me make the screen. So the currently I have the MySQL server version. It is MySQL 5.7.35. Okay. Uh, so I am going to upgrade the uh, from MySQL 5.7 to MySQL 8. Uh, <clears throat> okay. So before planning the upgrade, uh, you need to consider some few things. You need to uh, test your application with the uh, latest version. Uh, so there are a few things you need to consider. In the database wise, uh, there is some uh, incompatibility between the MySQL 5.7 and uh, MySQL 8. Uh, uh, for example, uh, some variables we have in MySQL 5.7, but they are not available in the MySQL 8. Uh, some reservoirs, uh, there are something uh, which, which will support for the MySQL 5.7, but it is not supported for the MySQL 8. So before planning, you were planning the upgrade on your production environment. Uh, so it is recommended to do the upgrade checker, MySQL up, to run the MySQL upgrade checker. Okay, it is the utility uh, from the MySQL shell, MySQL upgrade checker. Okay, uh, so this is the uh, MySQL shell utility. So what it will do, uh, it will check your server. I mean the current MySQL 5.7, and it will uh, check is there any blocker. Uh, to upgrade the MySQL. It will check the, uh, if there is any blocker, then it will report to you. Then you need to fix those things. Then again, you need to run the upgrade checker. Then uh, you need to, you are good to do the upgrade. Okay. So let me, let me show you how to do that. So it is the MySQL shell utility, as I told. Um, okay. So MySQL shell is not installed. Let me install it. Yeah, so this is the MySQL shell. I install MySQL shell. Okay, it's installing it right now. Okay, uh, so MySQL uh, shell installation is completed. Now, oh, I'm just connecting to the MySQL shell. Uh, uh, so far, I did not uh, give, uh, I mean, released any video about the MySQL shell, but I have the plan uh, to release some series of parts, uh, how, uh, what is MySQL shell and what are, what are the things you can do. I will explain, uh, I am planning to do something uh, about the MySQL shell series. In, in the YouTube. So hopefully in the future I will release. Uh, but now just know about your <coughs> upgrade check. Okay. Uh, so once I uh, enter the MySQL shell, I need to connect my local environment. Uh, so connect root at local host. Okay, so it is it is connected. Okay. Um, <coughs> Now, uh, there is a utility I told, right? Uh, MySQL upgrade checker. So utility, if you give the tab, then it will display what are the uh, 
display all the available utilities okay you have different utilities uh, but for the, this is this one is needed right now okay uh, so my sql upgrade checker then connect root at local host and i am also giving the config path config path uh, that is default one etc my dot cnf okay uh, now i am going to click enter yeah now you can review one by one uh, so it will uh read everything and it will give the suggestion so the first one is usage of whole temporal table no issues found okay so if any uh the second one is usage of db objects with the name completing with the new reserve words, keywords uh so it is mentioning that three dot empty table uh so why it is means the empty is the uh, reserved keyword in in the mysql gate but uh, at MySQL 5.7, it is not the reset keyword, but in MySQL 8, it is the reset keyword. Uh, so let me let me tell you uh, if you visit this document. Mm. Yeah, let me search empty. Yeah, so here here you can see the empty. Empty is the reserved keyword. It is reserved. Okay, uh, in MySQL 8.0.4. But in uh, MySQL 5.7, it is not uh, not a reserved keyword. But in MySQL 8.0.4, it is reserved. Okay, so it will give the suggestion. So before going to the MySQL 8, uh, if you want to don't have any error, then you should uh, rename your table name from empty to something. Okay, so this is what the MySQL upgrade checker is telling, um, and it, it is taking the UTF-8 MB3 any character set because. UTF-8 MB4 is the default one in MySQL 8, and uh, it is checking everything. Okay, you can go go on this one by one, and it is telling about the SQL mode duplication, and it is checking the enum set. Okay, so and also I given the config path right, so it will read all the configuration files, and these are the <clears throat> see for the from MySQL 8.0 the default one is changed uh, UTF-8 MB4 character set. Server is changed to UDTF8 and before, but in MySQL 5.7, it is Latin one. So it is just giving the suggestion. So oh, if you run the MySQL upgrade checker, it will read everything and it will uh, check from uh, check what are the uh, issues or what are the blockers, whatever you have uh, for the upgrade, it will report everything. Okay, you need to go one by one on this, uh, then you need to uh, uh, fix the things and uh, then you are good to. Uh, do the upgrade so right now i don't have any error error is zero and i have 28 warnings and i have one notices. okay uh if you have the error equal to uh more than zero i mean if you have any errors then it it will not allow to upgrade from mysql 5.7 to mysql UV. but so far i don't have any error uh but i have warnings uh so right now i am skipping that warnings and notices. uh so far i don't have any errors so i am just proceeding with the uh upgrade but uh, if you are doing in the production, I would recommend to check all these warnings and notice everything you you will fix uh, before going to the upgrade. Okay, so far now I don't have any error, so I'm just proceeding with the upgrade. Uh, let me uh, for, let me explain one thing. Uh, let me show you how to do the fix. So currently for the reserved word, it is three empty. Empty is the reserved word in MySQL eight, so it is giving the warning. So now uh, let me change the table name okay it is three under three i have one table uh, empty so i'm just renaming the table rename table empty to empty underscore old okay i just renamed the table from empty to empty underscore old now let me check uh, let me run the upgrade checker again if you see the upgrade checker again now see uh, that uh, reserved word conflict is that error is now gone. Now we don't have that error, that warning. Okay, so this is the way you need to vis visit, revisit every warnings, uh, and you need to fix one by one before in the production environment. See now my, my warnings also reduced from twenty eight to thirty seven. Okay, uh, so I am good right now uh, for for the demo upgrade. I am good I, because I don't have any error. Now let me show you how to do that. <clears throat> Upgrade. 
okay i am checking what are the uh, packages available okay so these are the packages currently available all are in mysql fire 7.p5 version okay and i am also checking the uh, schemas available currently we have only additional schema is three uh, that is the only additional schema i have and that have the mp uh, mt underscore old table as well okay now to uh, i'm just going to do the upgrade based on the m repository so here the first step is i need to stop the mysql server okay I'm just stopping the MySQL server. Uh, so my MySQL service is this top. It is inactive now. Uh, then uh, I need the uh, 8.0 packages to upgrade the uh, server, right? So for that, currently I have the MySQL 5.7 repo. Uh, so I'm just removing that repo and install, going to install the uh, MySQL 8 repo, okay? Yum, remove. Uh, you cannot install both both the repos because it will be conflict. So I'm just removing the MySQL 5.7 repository. Okay, so it is removed. Uh, but still, we have I have the packages. I just removed only the repository. The server packages are still in, and they are in MySQL 5.7. Okay, now I am going to install the MySQL 8 yum repository. download and I am using the uh, CentOS 8. So I am choosing this one. Copy link address. Yum install. Yeah, so I'm just installing MySQL 8 community release repository. Okay, so it is installed now. And uh, I'm just, just checking again. Uh, so currently I am having the MySQL 8 uh, repository and the packages are in MySQL 5.7. Okay. So I already um, stopped the MySQL server. So now what I'm going to do, I'm just going to give MySQL yum update. MySQL server. Let's see. Okay, uh, so after installing the MySQL 8 M repository, I'm just given MySQL update, uh, sorry, yum update MySQL hyphen server. Now it is going to do the update. You can read the dependencies result and the upgrading. Uh, it is upgrading the MySQL community client to 8.0.26 and MySQL community common and lives and server. It is going to upgrade everything into MySQL 8.0.26 and uh, it, it is also uh, installing the dependency because the MySQL community client plugins, uh, it is uh, it is needed for the MySQL 8, but it is not needed for the MySQL 5.7. So when we are going to upgrade to the MySQL 8, uh, it is also installing the new uh, uh, package, MySQL community client plugins. Okay, uh, you can see the summary here. It is going to install one package and it is going to upgrade four packages. Now let me give the yes. <laughs> Uh, it is progressing the upgrade. Okay. Um, yeah, so now it is completed. So at the end, you can see these are the packages upgraded and the one package, the plugins, client plugins packages installed. Now we, go, we can verify uh, using the uh, command, cm command. M list install. Yeah, uh, so now the packages are in 8.0.26. Previously it was MySQL 5.7.35, but now it is upgraded from uh, to 8.0.26. Uh, now let me start the MySQL service. Checking the status. Starting the MySQL service. Okay, uh, so the MySQL service is started now. It is active and running. Now let me log in into the MySQL. 
and I'm going to check uh, the MySQL server version is now 8.0.26. Okay. Um, I'm just checking my old database is available or not. It is available free. I'm just using it and I'm also checking the tables are available. Yeah, it is available. Okay. Um, show create table. It is available. So uh, I'm also, uh, see, uh, mostly uh, the MySQL upgrade is not needed. Uh, it, it, it will do from, uh, from so when you are doing upgrade to mysql 8 it will do in the client itself we don't manually uh, don't need to run the manually the mysql upgrade okay because it is already done the system uh tables everything is updated already you can go to the data directory and you can check that uh mysql 8 files are created or not you can verify there uh you can see the double rate buffer everything the double rate buffers are created and uh, the separate in you know, DB files and MySQL the IBD everything is created. Okay, so now we have successfully upgraded to oh, MySQL 8.0.26. So this is the one method you have. You, we have different methods to do the upgrade. Uh, this this one method is very simple, but you need the downtime for uh. Um, less time, uh, some five minutes. You need the downtime. Uh, I'm just showing how to do the single server upgrade. Okay, here yeah. from MySQL 5.7 to uh, MySQL 8. Uh, you can also achieve the upgrade without the downtime uh, using some additional uh, tools. Uh, you can do. You can achieve that. Later, uh, I will do. Uh, I will. Uh, I will post some videos how to do the uh, MySQL upgrade without the downtime. Okay. So hopefully, yeah. Uh, Hopefully this video is helpful uh, to know how to do the upgrade using the M repository. Um, if you like this video, just uh, like the video and share with your MySQL friends and uh, subscribe my channel for the coming videos as well. Okay, yeah, bye. Thank you.